What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a very special announcement to share with all of you. Throughout the past few months, I've been working on a project with Diamond Kinetics to put together a series geared towards bringing you everything you need to know about several metrics on both the hitting and pitching side of the sport. So, for the rest of the year, you can expect not one, not two, but three videos on this channel per week. They'll be posted every Saturday and Sunday, and we will be diving specifically into the hitting and pitching metrics you can find in their apps, each covered in two and a half minutes or less. I'm stoked for the way that these videos have come together, and I'm really looking forward to sharing them all with you. This video is not sponsored by the DK team, but the series you'll be seeing starting this weekend is, and I can't thank the folks I've been working with over there enough. In today's video, we will be diving into some of the base level information about what DK's products are, who should be interested in them, and a brief introduction to some of my favorite hitting metrics that they've got. And if you stick around this video till the end, you'll see a quick teaser of the series to come. Welcome to Simple Saber Metrics, the brains behind baseball's latest data-driven revolution. If this is your first time here, and you want to learn more about the practical applications of baseball's latest technologies and training techniques, join the movement now by clicking the subscribe button down below. So, just like any of my previous tech videos, let's start off by answering the simple question of, what is Diamond Kinetics? DK is a company that works on both sides of the ball, hitting and pitching. Their hitting technology is a bat sensor, similar to the blast sensors that we've talked about on the channel before. These sensors analyze what makes each player swing tick, and quantifies how you can help get those players to the next level. It spits out tons of pieces of information, such as how fast your athletes are swinging the bat, how quickly the bat is accelerating, and even the angle the bat traveled through the zone. Then on the pitching side, we've talked about several of the players in this category on the channel before, such as Trackman and Rapsodo. But Diamond Kinetics has their own unique product that will give you the same information as that technology, and it all comes in the shape of a 9-inch, 5-ounce standard baseball. That's right. A baseball that can give you accurate readings on spin rate, spin direction, spin efficiency, and much more. The kicker here, to get one of the other pieces of technology I mentioned earlier, you're going to have to spend a couple of thousands of dollars. But for the DK Pitch Tracker Baseball, all you've got to spend is a hundred bucks. That's huge. Especially if you're working with a smaller budget, or even if you want to start learning about these data points hands-on and you don't have access to one of those other pieces of technology yet. The best part is, all of this information is stored straight on your phone or a tablet through their two mobile apps, the DK Pitch Tracker app and the DK Swing Tracker app. In the next segment of today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the hitting application of DK's tech, but if you'd like to see a video specifically on their Pitch Tracker ball, let me know in the comments down below. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, we will be diving into the DK Pitch Tracker app's metrics in the individual quick hitting videos that will be coming each weekend. So, what are some of the top swing tracker metrics that you need to know? The first thing you need to understand is what the bat sensor is tracking. Unlike some of the other popular hitting tech out there, this device is utilized to analyze everything that happens before the bat makes contact with the ball. That means it's not going to spit out exactly how hard a ball is hit or how far it went in the field. This all comes before that, telling you what the swing looked like that generated those results. Today, I'm not going to dive deep into what each of these metrics are and how they're going to be applied. You can check back on the channel this weekend to find the in-depth stories on each of these metrics. Rather, right now, I'm going to give you an idea of what the DK app looks like as well as the three top metrics you need to know if you're just getting started using this device. The first one is pretty obvious, bat speed. How fast is each player swinging the bat? This is one of the first places you will look, especially when comparing two players. This is a great metric to get to know because it's something that can be trained and will improve as you get bigger and stronger and continue to clean up your mechanics. Then, they have a power metric called impact momentum. This is pretty much a step up from our bat speed score because it takes our bat speed score and combines it with the dimensions of the bat you're swinging in order to determine how much power you're putting into the ball. This has some pretty cool applications outside of simply training for higher numbers as it can be used to determine what size bat may be the best fit for you. The last metric we'll cover here is attack angle, the angle that the bat is traveling as it goes through the zone. It's a simple idea, if a pitch is coming in at this angle, then you should attempt to match that angle for the longest period of your swing that you can in order to maximize your chances at making good contact. 
but it's one that you can only see if you're using one of these sensors. Like I said earlier, I'm not going to spend a ton of time diving into these metrics in depth because each of them will have a quick two minute video diving deep onto what they are, what they mean, and how they can be applied to anyone on either side of the ball. I'm incredibly excited for the start of this new series. And don't worry, our typical weekly uploads will remain the same. Just make sure you tune back into this channel this Saturday and Sunday to check these videos out. This partnership between Simple Saber Metrics and Diamond Kinetics has been great. So if you're as excited to see the videos coming soon, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss out on anything. Diamond Kinetics is an accurate, see this driveline article verifying their tech, and inexpensive way to get started working with new technology evolving in the game. If you haven't yet, definitely go check out their website. Links as always in the description down below. Here's a quick trailer for what's to come. Welcome to the Diamond Kinetics Pitching and Hitting Series. In these short two minute videos, we will be covering every metric on both sides of the ball, from spin direction and spin axis to max barrel speed, by sharing with you what these metrics mean, where they live in the app, all while providing easy to understand examples of how they can be applied. Every video will wrap up with a chart to show you where you stand, whether that's by pitch type or your age group. Tune in on Simple Saber Metrics every Saturday and Sunday for the rest of the year to see the Diamond Kinetics series. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more Simple Saber Metrics, please subscribe. Click the video on the left for more baseball animations or the video on the right to check out my new vlog. Leave a comment and a like down below to show your support and I will see you next Wednesday with a new baseball animation.